Hi, my name is Julia Matthew. I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas at Park Avenue Frame Shop and Art Gallery. Next to me is the ghost print of a mono etching by Caroline Fitzgerald entitled Guimas Island. The artist was on one of the San Juan Islands in Washington State called Guimas Island. The owner of Island International Art, who deals only in etchings, flew Caroline out to try to persuade her to move there and become one of their full-time artists. While she was there, she learned the process of making etchings. Normal etching requires a stylus to etch designs into a metal plate. However, Caroline took a unique approach to the process. Instead of etching designs into the metal, she gathered weeds and other materials natural to the island and used them to create their own landscape image. In a process called aquatint, color was added. Then the plate was laid down and covered with acid-free paper. Perfectly balanced heavy rollers then rolled over the plate and paper, creating the colorful image that resembles and actually is Guimas Island. Weeds and other foliage from the island came together to resemble the land that they came from, water, land, and sky. The first mono etching from these materials was immediately sold to Enid Groves, a big-named artist at Island International. During the process, a little paint from the aqua tent was left, so Caroline ran it through once more, producing this drastically different copy of the original. The colors starting with a blue sky, earthy brown, and green land, and a lavender ocean, turned into a yellow sky, fading through green to deep turquoise, a piece of land covered in white, sky blue, and several shades of brown, and an ocean, a multitude of blues, meeting a dark brown, almost gray shore. I chose this artist because she's my grandmother. who has been doing artwork around me my entire life. She has pieces and businesses like Burger King and Sweet Bay, and her paintings and murals can be found in homes all over the area. I chose this original piece of hers because the vibrant colors stuck out to me as I was walking through her art gallery. I became even more interested in spotlighting this piece after I heard the background story and process of what I honestly thought was just a painting. However, I learned that nothing is really just a painting.